and welcome in to another episode of the Collins Company's Vendor Spotlight Series. Today we have with us Mr. Tim Carney from the Nellis Company. He's going to walk us through a few key features and benefits of some of their core products. Remember, if you like what you see, or even if you don't, go ahead and subscribe to our channel and feel free to leave us a note in the comments section on other products you'd like to know a little bit more about. Without further ado, Mr. Tim Carney. Hey guys, Tim Carney with Nellis USA. Today we're going to go over our Nellis ND9000 Intelligent Valve Controller. Let's take a look. So here we're going to go into a little bit more detail over the ND9000 Nellis Digital Valve Controller or Positioner. It takes 4 to 20 milliamps to operate as an input signal has different types of enclosures, whether it be aluminum, flame-proof, stainless steel. This one right here is just an aluminum body with a plastic cover. Uh, we have different hazardous area approvals for different countries all over the world. It interacts with different communications, whether it be heart, foundation field bus, or profi bus, to name a few. Internal diagnostics is standard. And using our local user interface, which you can see here, simply by taking the cover off, it shows you the position. Now this is not, not attached to a valve right now, so don't mind that, but to get into some of the more key features of it, we hold down the plus and minus keys, and we're gonna get into the mode here. There's an auto and a manual mode. To get actually get into it, click enter, and you can change it from auto to manual. We're gonna go with auto. Then you can get into the parameters. Some of the parameters might include uh, the type of performance, A through E, where a is more aggressive and E is, uh, is less aggressive to get uh, a slower opening but more precise control. Uh, cutoff, um, if you want it to fail open or closed. Valve type, this can be put on a rotary or linear style valve, a single or double acting actuator. Uh, position and fail action upon loss of signal. Um, rotation if it's a counterclockwise or clockwise to open. Dead angle and what type of uh, communication it's set up for. This one's set up for heart. And one other thing I'd like to talk about is our free download, Device Care. You can hook your laptop up to this unit and download all the information and diagnostics. This could be beneficial for things such as root cause analysis, preventative maintenance, or maybe you're just curious about the performance of the unit. With hundreds of options from position transmitters to integrated limit switches, different connections and driver sets, we have the positioner for you. And last but not least, you can do the auto cal to get your assembly back in line and ready to control. When in doubt, always refer to your ND9000 pocket guide. Don't have one? Give one of your friends at Collins a call. Now some of the things that really differentiate us from our competition, not only our pre-stage unit, which also acts as a manual, manual override, but right underneath it is our spool valve assembly. Inside the spool valve assembly, Here's the actual spool valve. You can see all the different notches in it. We have three different size spool valves, and it could be two millimeter, three millimeter, or six millimeter. And what this does with the notches is it tightly regulates that air to give you precise control on the unit. That's it for this episode of Vendor Spotlight. Tim, thanks for being here today. Appreciate your time and expertise. Thanks for having me, Jack. And thanks to all of you for tuning in. Remember, subscribe to our YouTube channel and go ahead and drop us a note in the comments section on products you'd like to know more about or topics you'd like to know more about. Until next time, this has been Vendor Spotlight. Spotlight.